Okay, guys. So, I wanted to show you guys something real quick before I go to Solitude. This is something really cool. I'm in Dawnstar right now. And the reason why I came here is because early game, this is very helpful. If you come over here to this Iron Breaker Mine, and it's real easy to get to. You just got to follow um, the houses. When you come over here, there's actually an invisible chest over here. It is a merchant's chest. You can find these all over the place. It's pretty much like right by one of these rocks. Let me find it. There it is. Alright, so here's the chest. And inside of it is all of the merchant's stuff. Including his gold, enchanted weapons, and armor. I already looted it for all the best stuff, honestly. Like, mainly the enchantments. I want to break them down. Grand soul gems. You know, there's the early game, this is so helpful because if you want to make some quick money, this is where to go. Dawnstar. You can find a lot of those chests. Hopefully I'll find more, but that's the easiest one to really get. A lot of them are kind of complicated. Now the question is, can I... I don't think there's a carriage here. I actually don't. I don't remember. There might be. Well, let me go look. I got here on a carriage, so I, I would imagine there would be one to get me out of here as well. You would have to be over here somewhere. Oh, here's the Kajiks right here. Basically, that's their chest, this by the way. Something? Oh, this one does. But, anyway. Alright, well, that sucks, because now... I might just be missing this. You guys can comment, but I guess I don't... I don't remember there ever being a carriage in Dawnstar. Which sucks, because now I have to go all the way back to Whiterun just to get on the carriage to get to Solitude. That's really lame. But yeah, alright, so that's where we're going in this, uh, right now. I'm not really doing anything in Solitude. The, the main thing is that when you start this game, especially if you want to, like, play on this Legendary difficulty, because that's another big point of this series, is to play Legendary difficulty, to have fun with this new update by doing the book, the book glitch. Yeah, I did the book glitch, I know, but still. Or really, I didn't do it, I just loaded up a file that I already did it on. But you can do it, like... If you go to your memory on Xbox, delete your system's catch, that deletes all your updates. And if you do that, you can start up uh, your Skyrim, you have to play offline, make a new file. Because I don't think you can load up a file that you saved with one of the updates. It will say, like, this: uh, the game is out of date, you can't load the file. So what I recommend to do is just start a whole new game, run through the process of doing the book glitch, do the book glitch, save it, get the update promote some skills, play the entire game as a level 81, and you'll probably, like, get to, like, 100 and something. That's what I recommend. I think that's probably the most fun you can actually have with this new update, because otherwise, you're going to run through the whole game, and by the time that you actually even get the benefit of, you know, not having a level cap anymore, you have probably already beat the game. So that's the way I look at it. Alright. Where do you want to go? Yeah. We are going to Solitude. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Alright, I got a lot of good stuff out that chest, by the way. So, now, there's two reasons why we're going to Solitude. The first reason is because I want to get some alchemy stuff. And the second reason is, there's a really good shop here. It is a fashion shop. It's like the it's the very first building on the right as you enter. That place is the best place in the game, by far, if you want to get enchantments for your stuff. You buy all you know they, they sell everything in there you buy the stuff that have certain enchantments and you you break it down that's pretty much it all right so for some reason when you come here you have to go and run down here and discover the farm it's, it looks like a stables but it's actually a farm all right so now you know honestly since I don't have any perks in heavy armor I don't even know if I want to use heavy armor because it really drains my stamina quick Let's check up here. Now, there's also another one of those invisible chests over here. The problem is, is that you have to have the, the Kajiks up here with you, I think. I'm not too sure about that, but I know that there is a chest somewhere, like, I think right here where I'm looking. Now, the secret of getting that invisible chest or that merchant chest is that when the Kajiks come, if they put up their tent, you can jump over the guy sitting at the tent... And on the right side of the tent, as you jump over it, 
you can look down and you'll find his like invisible chest and you can raid it for all his stuff. So that's a that's another one right there. Those are the only two I actually use in the game. The other ones are kind of complicated. It's like, oh, you got to get a plate, put the plate over a wall, hop over the wall, <laughs> like you literally go through the wall, go underneath the ground, look up, steal the chest, leave. That's complicated. <laughs> so I'm not into all that. I just like, it, there's no point to do those, honestly, when you have the one in Dawnstar. The one in Dawnstar has like everything you could ever want in it. So, if you just want some extra cash, go there. Oh yeah, we got a lot of drama in Solitude. How come you didn't do it? Who's is it? Far, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get on with it! I don't trust the Frozen Five Kings. Traitor! Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric told his story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Damn! Sucks to be you. <sighs> Time to rob him! Alright. Definitely rob this guy, because he has an uh, amulet of Talos. Those can be kind of rare to get, I gotta be honest. Um, there's only so many places in the game where you can find them. Uh, this shop right here I'm about to go to, they sell it, but it's it's a very low chance. And the Amulet of Talos is by far probably the best amulet in the game. Now, there's a lot of Nightshade here, so I'm going to try to pick all this up real quick. Or the majority of it. We need it for a quest. It, or a really dumb, stupid little quest. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump over the gate. Get that. Um... Now, this nightshade takes forever to come back, or really any plant I think you pick takes a long time to come back. I'm talking about, like, a whole in-game month. So, unless you're, like, saving it, I'm or waiting a lot, or resting a lot, it's going to be a while before you'll see that nightshade come back. But, it will. Alright, I think I got the majority of it. I'm not too worried about getting all of it. Let's see right here. No. Alright. So now let's go to the alchemy shop. I should. Spice wine. Should talk to this chick real quick. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Her little quest is annoying, and later if you do the Dark Brotherhood quest, you'll fail it. So it's better to get out the way early. Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. Great. Get back to me when you're done, and I'll give you something for your time. All right, so let's go ahead and um, put that on, because hopefully if I get lucky, I can catch her. Actually, she's just at the docks normally, but uh, later on, she gets that that chick gets married to some some dude, and you have to kill her for the Dark Brotherhood. So you might forget. I have before in the past. I forgot to like do that, and then I'm like, oh man, I failed that stupid thing. I don't like failing anything. Uh, and there's a lot of those little quests. Let me know if you see anything you like. If you're looking for potions, you're you a traveler, talk to correct? Angeline Morag. Have you been to White Run? Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter Fura was assigned to White Run after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. All right, let's make an investment. Splendid. With the 
Well, I'll call upon my suppliers if they take a look. Now we can buy all her stuff, so every time. And then I should probably eat some of it. I probably don't have all the effects. I wish there was a buy all option in this game. That would be great. But unfortunately, there is not a buy all option. I need that nerd root for quest. So come on. Yeah. The first time you, uh, the first time you go to an alchemist, they have so much stuff. Then after that, it's they don't normally have this much stuff. Um. I think you have to like give them like a long time to restock or don't something like that. Me I don't know how it works. All right, let's go ahead and see what kind of stuff we can eat. Pearl. Don't want to eat the nerd root or nightshade. I mean, moth wings. Those are great. Those give you invisibility. Let's see what else. Fire socks. Don't eat those. Dragon's tongue. Don't eat that. What's this? Butterfly wings. Most of this stuff isn't that great. Beehive husk is pretty cool. It gives you fortified destruction. The only way to really make fortified destruction or destruction really work on like the harder difficulties, like for example, legendary or master, is to use potions. Like if you use potions, uh, destruction is overpowered. It's so good. But without the potions, it's kind of weak. I mean, it's not the weakest thing in the game, but it's not like that strong. All right. I kind of want to make some potions. You know, I need to make some potions. So let's do glow dust. Fortified destruction. I don't want to take too much time up, honestly, because, oh god, that was worth a lot. Ooh, fortified carry weight. Anything else good? Slow. Yeah, I don't want to take too much time up here, because I know, I know this is probably, like, so boring. Um, I know I would be bored watching someone do this, so let's make some of that. Slow potions are always great. Some kinda we got some garlic, so we can go regenerate health. I know I'm gonna make some invisibility potions. These are so good. Should have not have used that ice grave teeth. Frenzy Frenzy's okay. It's not the best, but it's not bad. Damage magic. I don't have a lot of this. Damage. Don't want to use those. I want to keep those blue butterfly wings for fortify enchantment. All right. Now we can go and buy pretty much every enchantment in the game if we want to. I'm not gonna buy them all, but I'm gonna buy the ones that I want. But I'll teach you something else you can do that is really cool and makes this game so much easier to start. Because one of the most annoying things is when you have to go to every alchemist. Oh, yeah, you, you know, you have to go to different alchemists to get all these ingredients. You have to go and find all of these enchantments. But I will teach you something really. You're cool. not supposed to be in here. Wait, what? I'm oh, not shit! Shut up! What, what's going on here? Is it nighttime? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, woman. Alright, well, whatever. We'll just... It's in the middle of the day! What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's check it out. Yeah, it's open. Come on now. Alright, so there's a chick in here that has a quest. Hopefully she's in here. Sometimes she is, sometimes she's not. She walks You're around a lot. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. I'm what not is going on here? Here she You're is. Not supposed to be in here. Damn it. Even the chick's in there, man. This is bullshit. This game, this game is stupid a lot. I mean, there's a lot of moments like this. It's like, what the hell do they want me to do? Wait a whole day or something? I'll wait a whole day. I guess, for some reason, they're closed. Alright. Now, you're going to see me do this a lot. Um... Every time you wait in this game, if you play on Xbox, press the middle button. It makes it go by super fast. Um, it makes it go by super fast. And especially later on in the game, it gets, like, kind of laggy. Right, hopefully, I'm not trespassing anymore. It doesn't get laggy. It's just, like, everything slows down. The more stuff you have or the more st 
areas you unlock. Like, every area in this game is locked, meaning, like, it's not loaded. Who's that chick? Why, hello, here to buy. If you have to ask the price, you might be in the wrong store. Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should see what we have available. A coin um, or two for a veteran? You're Here really go. going to the Blue to Palace. That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Right, I've been looking to expand the business, and your investment will certainly... I'll start planning how best to spend this. Take a look. Alright, so now, we about to go crazy. Because, um, this chick should have a lot of good stuff. This is the, like I said, this is amazing. Alright, so, I'm not gonna buy those yet, because I don't really have the money for that. But, you know, like I said, she sells like, they, they sell so much good stuff here. <laughs> and this is the only place that you can really, or the best place you can buy the crowns. Prices, health, stamina regen, health regen, don't care about all that. I need some, um, fortify, pickpocket, don't care about that. Magic resistance, uh, I, I do want that, actually. Magic regeneration, that's not a big deal. Okay. So she didn't really have all anything that great, but let's go ahead and sell some of these potions I have. A lot of this come, came from um, that chest in um, Dawnstar I looted. Alright. So this is what you do. She's trying to kiss me. Thank you for your patronage. Alright. Attack her. Okay. If you attack them... You gotta auto save first. I don't know if you caught that, but I auto saved it by waiting and canceling the wait. Um, you save the game. You attack the merchant. Any merchant in the game. Any merchant in the game. You attack the merchant. You either a kill them or have them become hostile towards you. And what so that nice. will do is we can't find an make it so that me. they restock everything. Everything in their stock is, is is totally different. Like so, she's gonna have a lot of different stuff now, and it will also refill her money. So like, if, actually, you got to see me. Like I sold her all those potions, and now she has two thousand gold again. See what I'm saying? This is really good strategy. So you can do this at an alchemist, a blacksmith, whoever it's gonna be. Like if if you instead of going to like all different blacksmiths, if you're trying to level up your smithing like the legit way. You just attack them, and you just buy like their da their daggers and all that, or their iron to make those daggers, and that's it. That's pretty much all you got to do. So let's go ahead and see what she has now. She should have some different stuff at least. I've seen a lot of the same stuff though. Got to be honest. All right. Normally at the bottom is where you get to see the good stuff. You gotta, all right, here we go. Disease. I kind of want to resist disease. That sounds cool. Um. Here we go, potions. That's the one I wanted the most. So that is awesome. Now I just need to somehow maybe find... Hold on, let me Take sell some potions. I probably don't have that many potions left. Or, or, see, my potions are they are not selling for all that much money because I, I, I don't have anything to fortify them. You know what I mean? If I had something to fortify my potions, I... like just basic armor, like they will be worth Who so much you more. Remain in solitude? The city. Die! That's normally enough to do it. Once again, I did the same thing. I did the auto save. Um, that's, in my opinion, that's the best way to really save the game uh, quickly on the Xbox. I think on like PC you can just hit like a quick save button, but on the Xbox you just do the little wait thing. We provide. Let's see if we can't find an outfit that suits you. Yeah, she has all her money again, meaning that her stock should be a little bit different. So let's just. I'm gonna scroll down this quick. All right, Bosu. More damage. I want that for sure. Alright. Because I want that enchantment. I want to find some one handed and uh, smithing. That would be great. Let's see. Prices. Increase magic. Increase frost. Come on. I have the thing I want. Pickpocket. Don't care about that really. Uh, damn it! Remember right, I'm gonna do it one more time. 
one more time, and then we need a change after about. that, I will go ahead and stop. Because I know this is going to get boring, too. I don't want to just sit here and do this for a long time. But obviously, if you're not recording a video for entertainment purposes, you can sit here for an hour and do this until you find every enchantment you want. So, and you can do the same thing with an alchemist yes. or a blacksmith if Take you want to just make a lot of money or something. Alright, so let's hope for that. Let's hope she has what I'm looking for this time. Alright. Sneaking. I wanted that. That's awesome. Alright, definitely needed that. Lock picking, don't care about that. Restoration spells, health regeneration, two-handed weapons. I'm not going to really be using them right now. Alright, well that's enough. Let's go ahead and sell her everything I got. Because God knows I'm going to have to sell her every potion I have. Yeah, she has a lot of my money. Oh, actually that was enough. Alright, cool. Alright, so now we can leave. And you know, the best part about doing something like that too is that I'm actually making money. Because I was making 2,000 gold every time I sold her potions. That's always cool. Anyway, so now that we have that out the way, and I at least have my created potions thing, I can now go and break it down, and then once I break it down, I can start enchanting some, like, really stupid bad armor to, um, you know, to, to uh, make my potions better. The, this guy right here has a quest. I'm not going to talk to him yet, but he does have a quest. I think that heard they were missing out on some water. Alright, so let's talk to Blacksmith real Seems quick. Such an investment will mean that I can... You'll look back on this as one of your best... Take a look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, now I'm gonna actually look through his stuff too, because he might have something for smithing. That would be great, because I still don't have that. Like, you know, the... Oh, potions already have like that. That's crap. Alright, let's see what he has. Oh, he doesn't have any ebony. I want some ebony. Alright, buy that and that. Go ahead and sell him some more potions, just to make some more money. Generate health. Yeah, sure, whatever. Alright, now, arms or armor. let's make some Life really stupid armor. We only need the bracer and the helmet. Uh, you don't need the armor right now. And I need to make some jewelry. Or maybe I already have some jewelry, let me check. That would suck if I didn't have the, the necklaces or anything. Alright, so I have a gold necklace, but I don't have a ring. Well, that's total donkey poop. Who is this kid? Hey, wanna play tag? Sure, whatever you Alright, so I don't have a ring. And that I've got kinda a lame. Because I'm gonna need to go buy one real quick. I wish I had some transmute because transmute is really good. I could get that real quick. You can only find that in a couple places though, that spell. <clears throat> but that is a very good spell because it allows you to get a lot of gold ore. Oh, you can turn that into nice. clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. You can turn gold ore into gold ingots and then make jewelry for whatever purpose you need it. Alright. So do you have a gold ring? I know you probably do. Yep. Alright, thank you very much. Now I can leave. Now, we're going to go to the the Blue Palace because the Blue Palace should actually have um, a wizard there. And there's stuff I can do there anyway. Actually, I don't know. Should I go to the Blue Palace yet? Uh, there's a lot of dialogue there. That's really not the purpose of this episode. The purpose of, you know, I, I'm kind of showing you what the hell is this? Oh, okay. Anyway, um, so let's just go back to White Run. Uh, the purpose of this episode is kind of to show you, like, early game, things you can do if you are following what I'm doing, which is book glitching. <laughs> but cheating! I'm a cheater! Ah! But still, this is just things you can do early game to really help you accelerate the process of starting over. Because you want to make money. You want to be able to make potions to sell, so you have a lot of money. You want to make some weapon or something. You know, if I'm going to... Everything in this game scales. That's one thing you have to realize. Everything scales. So, 
if I'm fighting any enemy right now, it's going to be at level 81. So if I try to fight with like some really shit like, you know, an iron dagger and like, I don't know, fur armor. If I try to fight stuff on novice, it will like rape my face. It really will. It will just like destroy me. So I need to be able, before I go out on the field and start killing stuff, I need weapons that are a little bit stronger. I'm not going to go all crazy mode and make my daggers and stuff do like 10,000 damage, but... Spells and incantations for those with the I can do that, but I'm not. <laughs> but anyway, alright. So we need to buy Grand Soul Gems. Once again, we're going to do the same thing to him that we did to the other people. Go ahead and sell all this stuff right here. I'm running out of potions, but it's not a big deal. I might just have to spend some money. I think I actually have enough Grand Soul Gems right now, though. And I should be able to make some, at least one potion of Fortify uh, Enchantment. And hopefully it won't run out. Yeah, I can make a couple potions of this. But all right, I'm just going to make one, though, right now. So that I can use it and make my basic armor. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this multiple times. I might not show every time I do this, but you're gonna want to do this at least maybe three times. Oh crap! Everything's so disorganized. Let's start with the necklace. So, um, ah, 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 I messed up. All right, well I'm gonna have to make another potion. I'm tripping. I forgot I need to break all this stuff down. As you can tell, I have a lot of stuff to break down right now. Wait a minute. Do I have the enchantment for Fortify Alchemy? Yeah, I do. Okay, here. Alright, let's make another potion. Actually, I just might make two potions real quick. Just in case I mess up again, I don't have to come back here. Alright. So now, let's use the potion. These things don't last that long. It's 30 seconds, so... And it, it does not last long at all. Alright, so we need to put one on the gold necklace. Fortify Alchemy. Grand hmm. Soul Gem. I recommend naming it something really stupid like one. It's fine. Now that's how it's done. I doubt that anyone in Skyrim could have weaved a better enchantment. Okay. The reason why I recommend naming it like one is because if you name it a number, it's gonna be at the top of your screen. And being that you're gonna be using this so much you know like um, yeah but being that you're going to be doing this so much in the game that you're gonna always want to be able to find like your alchemy stuff your armor for alchemy you know honestly that potion only increased my stuff by 1% so I'm not even tripping off of that alright so now we can go ahead and put that armor on See what I'm saying? Everything's at the top, so it makes it easier on me just to do that quickly. Alright. So now, I should be able to make better potions. 30%. Make two of those real quick. And I don't have another set of armor to do that, but still, it's not the biggest deal ever. Alright. Well, I think, I think that might be it for now, because I need to, I probably need to get more materials, like, I need to think about this a little bit, figure this out, and I, I, the main thing, the next thing I need to do is, besides what I just did, which now I have armor that will allow me to make better potions, and that means I can make more money, it means I can make better potions of fortified enchantment, and all that. But I actually need to make like a sec a second set of armor, and then I need to make a third set of armor, and that's just gonna take so long. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it now. In the next episode, we will be doing. Uh, well, I'll, I'll I'll make sure to make two more sets of armor, get it to the cap because there is a cap. And once I get it to the cap, then I'm gonna make some uh, some smithing armor. Once I make the smithing armor, I can actually smith my dagger smith my uh, ebony armor and all that and I'll probably make ebony armor like a full set and then we'll go and actually play the game and do everything so 
I hope you have enjoyed this. Please like and favorite the video. Subscribe. You know how it is. I would really appreciate all that. And you guys have a nice day.